Hey guys, welcome back to Shep Talk and welcome back to another Shep Talk movie review. If this is your first time here, remember to hit that subscribe button and make sure you get notified. <laughs> and to make sure you get notified, hit that bell icon as well. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, as well as Facebook. Now, let's get back to my review of Justice League The New Frontier. Justice League The New Frontier was directed by David Bullock. Also stars Dave Boreanaz as Hal Jordan, Miguel Ferreira as John Johns, Neil Patrick Harris as The Flash, Lucy Lawless as Wonder Woman, Kyle McC McCallan as Superman, and many, many more. When I say many, many more, there's so many voice actors in this movie. Quick synopsis. Based on the DC miniseries by Darwin Cook, Justice League The New Frontier takes us back to the 1950s and gives us a different take on our superheroes and how they came together to tackle a world-threatening monster. First off, I have never read the comics that this movie is based on, so I was going into this movie fresh to the story. Second, I find that find it weird that the second movie you do after Justice or Superman Doomsday is Justice League The New Frontier that has no connection whatsoever to the previous one. I get the interconnected universe came later, but really to start off your series that way, it just it felt weird. Jumping straight to the story, it was a very interesting story. First, to, you pit the government against the superheroes and seeing the distrust they have in the superpower people, which you have to admit what happens at some level of the government, if not the private sector today. Heck, even Batman doesn't trust those he works with and has contingency plans if one of them lets the power go to their heads. So it was interesting seeing that storyline kind of play out in this movie. Of course, there is a big bad that needs to be taken care of, and the government and the armies are useless against it, so now they must work hand in hand with those that they were just fearing. Speaking on the big bad, it was kind of a letdown, at least to me. It was pretty much this island-shaped blob that can spawn monsters, shoot energy beams, and hover above the water. It seemed to take forever once it appeared to make its way to landfall, which of course is good for our superheroes so that they can all come together and bond. The movie builds up the center, it's builds up the center. It seems to be able to take over people and get them to do things, but instead of using that to its advantage, it decides the best thing to do is confront them head on. And I'm split on the animation. There are moments where you look at the animation and go, that is cool and looks really good. Other times you look at it and go, did they let the B team draw that up? Or were they in a time crunch? I mean, sometimes when you are doing a full body shot, you get this great looking character, and then at other times it looks like a squat blob of a character and just made you really winch. And I seem, it seemed to do that more with the Amazonian women, but there's occasions throughout the whole movie where the, just the, the silhouettes of the characters was just bad. This also carried over to, to the voice acting. Superman Doomsday, the voice acting was top notch all around but get to Justice League The New Frontier and some of it was spot on and others you were like how did they get cast for that character? The one that stood out to me the most was Batman who is voiced by Jeremy Sisto. He must be a, he might be a great voice actor but his voice choice for Batman just fell flat. I was like the villains are supposed to be scared of this guy? He just sounded so average especially when he's on screen with some of the other superheroes whose voice actors just seem to be spot on with their choice that yeah, Batman just was really wrong and there's a few others I just felt Batman was the major choice for me major wrong choice really again when you just have over an hour to tell a story you're not always going to be firing on all cylinders and it showed here the story was strong though the villain could have been better the animation and the voice acting were probably 50-50 in my book overall it is still an enjoyable movie but definitely not one of the DC's strongest so with all that being said guys Shep Talk is going to give Justice League the new frontier two sheps out of five sheps but that is all i have time for you today if you haven't go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed this movie check out one of these over here i'm sure you'll find something else that you'll enjoy but that is all i have time for you today thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next review